morning church Alex Oradoli here your youth and young adults coordinator and it is day four of our fast devotional series um, and I will be diving into the book of Corinthians chapter two uh, so if you want to turn there with me if you have your Bibles and we're gonna be starting at verse six and so we're gonna jump right in but verse six reads however we speak wisdom among those who are mature yet not the wisdom of this age nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing but we speak the wisdom of god in, in the mystery the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the ages for our glory which none of the rulers of this age knew for had they known that they would not have crucified the lord of glory but as it is written i has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for those who love him but god has revealed them to us through his spirit for the spirit searches all things yes the deep things of god and so i encourage you guys to read the rest of this passage uh just verse chapter two here there's a lot of insight about the wisdom of god but i'm going to stop here um and i'm going to talk a bit about godly wisdom or spiritual wisdom and uh, Paul is communicating this idea that the spirit of God knows about the knowledge of God. And so the wisdom of God is connected to the Holy Spirit. And so what Paul is trying to communicate here is that when we walk with the spirit, we link up with the wisdom of God. And this idea is that when we draw close to God, we have access to spiritual wisdom. Um, I don't know about you, but in my day-to-day -day life, I need wisdom. I need discernment. I need um, insight to make better decisions in my life. But more so than that, it's helpful to have spiritual wisdom because it helps us to understand what God is doing. It helps us to understand the plans of God. It helps us to understand the moves of God. It helps us to have better discernment when it comes to uh, linking our lives with what God wants, right? Um, and so the example that we see is that in this passage, Paul says that um, in, in verse eight, it says, which none of the rulers of this age knew, for had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. And what Paul is saying here is that if the leaders of this time had the wisdom of God or spiritual wisdom, they might not have made the, the foolish decision of crucifying our Lord and Savior that day. But it's because they weren't operating in, in godly wisdom or spiritual wisdom that we see the results of what, what happened that day, right? Um, and so in my life, I don't want to be that. I, I don't want to make mistakes because I'm operating in my own wisdom, but instead I want to operate in godly wisdom and I want to do the right thing the first time. And it's through godly wisdom that we see the, the supernatural discernment that, that only God can give us. Amen. And so I want to encourage you guys as you do this fast and as you draw closer to God, as you draw closer to his spirit, embrace that wisdom. Understand that when God is working through you, that you're going to be able to see things differently. You're going to be able to process things differently. You're going to be able to uh, just hook on to, to more of his word than you were before. Things will change, and with that will come supernatural wisdom in order to make uh, better decisions in your life the first time. And uh, I know that we all want that. And so that's my prayer for you guys as you do this fast and as you draw closer to God. Embrace that supernatural wisdom. Understand that God wants the best for your life. And w when we embrace more of him in our day-to-day, -day, we will see that in our decision making, in our discernment, in our perception. And so that's my prayer for you guys. Um, God bless. Uh, I pray uh, just that you go through the rest of this fast um, and, and you have many powerful moves of the spirit in this time. But I'm believing in you. I'm rooting for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye.